These top business leaders drawn from diverse sectors of the economy are today being challenged to shift part of their focus towards energy-related projects if production of goods and services for the East African community market can leverage on sustained growth. Nation Media Group Chairman Winfred Kiboro speaking at a luncheon immediately after cross-listing of the 50-year-old business on the Uganda Securities Exchange says unless termed the energy deficit would have ripple effects on businesses. But we in Kenya have had to wait for 15, 20 years and have to do with the power cuts because people are not thinking out of the box to say that if we continue to do things in a very, very macro scale, we are not going to get anywhere. So our coming here is to make that statement that in fact, if we do work together and if we have the commitment as East Africans, we could do a lot, a lot more. Today, the uh, Ugandan citizens are going to have the opportunity to be able to invest in nation stock. Speaking at the same event this afternoon, Central Bank Governor Tumsime Mtebile insisted that private sector interest in raising working capital through the stock market must be reinforced. This is an extremely important point. There will be no policy reversals. So you, ha you don't have to think about reversing your investment, which is a very costly exercise. Currently, Uganda, via its Bujagali project, anticipates to blast at least 250 megawatts onto the national grid by end of 2012. Tanzania, through its mantra limited, is also expecting to start mining uranium for fueling its nuclear power by mid-2012. Kenjen in Kenya, with the 1,140 megawatts of installed capacity, is on the other hand still struggling to raise output. Reina Urgen, NTV Business.